What's going on with the gang? It's your boy Lee Wonder and we are back with another video. Today we have when terrible parents realize they've been they've been arrested by corrupted minds. If y'all like the reaction video, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna give y'all a few seconds. Alright, since I gave y'all a second to subscribe, y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all go to Corrupted Minds. Y'all go subscribe to Corrupted Minds if y'all want to watch some more of these videos. And let's get right into the video. Supposed to be with Yahara Toronto, 28, and Jacob Kruger, 25. Two parents who in 2019 had a police officer come to them to ask why their two-year-old child was walking in the middle of a busy street. Yeah. Who's great? Did we find? No. I, I just pulled over. I they were walking in the road. Yes, his face. He actually. Oh, I know where. He, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure. I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I don't know. If you want to come to me, or are you good over there? Um, look at this view. All right, let's go. Uh, let go me you hang. Can you pull over here for me one second? I think I remember this guy. Poor little man. You, does he say anything to you? No, he didn't, he didn't say anything. He's not a person, for sure. He didn't say nothing, though? No. Oh, okay. These two women driving in Florida found a small child who was covered in bed bugs and had a dirt. No, that's just down bad. He got bed bugs. Then you want to give him a combo with a dirty diaper? Dirty diaper on, wandering the street with no parents in sight, and within seconds of seeing the kid, the police officer immediately knew who he belonged to, meaning that this wasn't his first time dealing with these parents' child neglect. Is this where you live? You live well, here? I have a kid, bro. Do you live here? Well, I have a kid. Yeah. That's where you live? That's where you live? How'd you get out? How'd you get out? I don't care about it. Is this where you came from? Bed bugs, add that yeah. too, bro. That's the stuff, bro. Take care of y'all kids. Y'all gonna act. Don't get nasty, y'all. Hello! 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 See my blue lights, buddy? Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna sit in that car actually. Can you hang tight with him while I pull my car over here and we can uh, gonna sit in the back of my car for a second? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely is. Come here. Absolutely. Let me pull my car in here. I'm pretty. I, I had to. I had to pull over. I had to. No, absolutely. I had to. Where was he walking? He was just walking right here. Yeah, get ready to walk into the intersection. And I'm just coming from Lisa Murray for my doctor's appointment. Okay. It was freaking me out. Would you mind giving me a written statement I about sure, exactly sure. what happened? Okay, give me I one definitely second. will. Man. So would. And I know you're working, so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible oh, for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to say it's that trailer right there, right. but I was out here for a similar incident, and it was that trailer right there. So I'm going to try to find the mom again. Same child? They were Very younger. I'm pretty. They were younger, obviously, at the time, but oh. that's why I'm kind of remembering him. After receiving no answer at the parents' house, he starts asking the women about details in the situation, and while hearing everything, he gets reminded that he's been through this same situation with this child and his parents before. Back in 2018, officers went to the parents' home and arrested the mother for child neglect after finding out that she left her one-year-old and two-year-old home alone. Do you recognize me? No. You don't recognize me? I was here last time when this happened. You remember that? Oh, yeah. And your son today was in the street, walking out on US-1, and luckily some nice ladies saw him and stopped before he got well, smushed by a friggin' now. car. You know, what were you guys doing in there? We were just sleeping. Just trying to make another baby. It took the parents 30 minutes to finally come out and talk to the officer. Once they did, they seemed very tired and ashamed. The two officers on the scene they agreed they had to call DCF, which is the Department of Children and Family, to help the child possibly... Random topic, but why they got that kid running like that? The fuck? ...possibly get removed from the home for their safety, since it was clear the parents did not pay much attention to him. Step out of the car for me. Come here. Come on. Step out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. I've had enough of this with all, both of you. What? Is she getting arrested? You both are getting arrested. So get your kid dressed. For what? Child neglect. Why? Come on. What do you mean why? Because you wasn't watching them. Why? I'm seat in the back of my car. I've had enough please. of you guys. Why? Sit in the back. Get in there. Please, please, why? What do you mean why? Get, get, sit, get, sit in the back of the car. Slide in the car now. Sure. Poor parenting. Add that one to the list. 
Turn around. Come here. You. You're next. Oh. Bro, if you don't get your heel, Billy look like Kung Fu Panda if he never became the Dragon Warrior. What you mean for what? Your kid was just in the street with bugs and a dirty diaper. Come on. Why am I, so why, why am I getting arrested? Child neglect. Put your hands behind your back. What did I do, though? What did you do? It's what about you didn't do. You didn't watch your kid. You didn't watch your kid. Did he just ask what did he do? Bro, your, your, your child was covered in bed bugs and had a shitty diaper. You wasn't taking care of your kids. That's what you didn't do. Come on now. Kids on the road. Want to be all shacked up with Miss Piggy right there, not even paying attention to your kid. It's down bad. Y'all take care of y'all kids or stop having them. So this is a history with you two. I mean, this is just a, a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. And then it's not what even you guys couldn't even do that. What do you think I was doing? Turn around. That's what you were doing. I was putting clothes yeah, on. Yeah. This is not fair at all. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair to your son. That's what it's not fair to you. Have a seat. After getting arrested, the parents seemed to be more concerned of them being arrested rather than their kid who was walking down a busy street. The officer had enough of this situation and brought them to the station. The parents of the child, Yahira Torado and Jacob Kruger, were arrested for child neglect. Their bond was set at $5,000. But if you thought evil parents stopped here, then you don't know about the case of this extremely deranged mother. In 2018, Florida police arrived at a residents when they received calls about how a woman and her two kids were on top of the garage ledge. Okay. Darling, darling. She's on Molly. It's okay. She's on, on Molly. She's on Molly. That's crazy. That's the first thing that you say is that she's on Molly. That's why Florida police arrived at a residence when they received calls about how a woman and her two kids were on top of the garage ledge. Okay. Darling, darling. She's on Molly. It's okay. Molly. Dear. 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 All right, all right. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Dear, dear. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're not in trouble for anything. Okay, okay. Just get the kids back inside, please. Please, that's all we want you to do. Just get the kids back inside. How do we get in the house? They're real, they're real. We're gonna help. Let's get breaching tools. Let's get breaching tools. It's okay. It's okay. Please, we're here to help, okay? We're here to help. Oh, wait. No, wait. It's okay. No. No, wait. No, wait. You're not a real one. I want to see your badge. The officers were able to get into the woman's home and get to the They're top where she lead. was, but immediately after getting on the ledge with her, she questioned if they were even real police officers. It was mentioned in a report that she was hallucinating at this moment. The officers continued to plead with the mother to Molly. please bring her children inside the house, but she kept refusing. Oh, yeah, right here. All right. Please. See? This is one of you guys go inside, yeah. open this no, window up. Inside. I'll hand you the kids. Huh? No, 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 no. I want to see your, I want to see your badge. Okay, here. There you go. Uh, really? Yeah, real. No, wait, 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 let me see. Yeah, right here. Yeah, we're okay. okay. See? It says police. Sergeant? Yeah. Okay. No, you're not. It doesn't say sergeant. Okay, sergeant. Kids. Huh? No, no, yeah. who are you? Point blank? After the officers trying to grab her and her kids, the mother continuously screams, grab the phone, and he's going to kill me, mom, thinking that the cops were putting her in more danger. But in reality, she was the one scaring not only the officers, but also her two children. No, get the phone! No, he's going to kill me, mom! No. Open this. Okay, guys, we're going to walk with Mike no. here, okay? No, you can't. No. Here, come walk with no. Mike. No! No! Guys, we're okay. Okay, okay. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Hey. Take care of y'all kids and stop hacking. Guys, we're walking this way. You guys want to see where we're walking to? We're going to walk to that police officer, okay? Take 
take the little one. Come here, baby girl. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Here, we're gonna. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Here, we're gonna go with this one police officer. The two kids were safely put back inside the home. The mother was committed to a mental health facility under the Baker Act, which is a Florida law that enables families and loved ones to provide emergency mental health services and temporary detention for people who are impaired because of their mental illness. The Florida Department of Children and Families is investigating the situation, and the children are in their custody. But if you thought this case was bad, then you don't know about the case of Tempest Isom. I'm not playing a game with you. In 2023, the mother, with her five-year-old in the back, was pulled over for multiple motor vehicle violations. But when the officers came to her window, they wouldn't be prepared for what would happen next. I called the police station. The guy told me to bring him the 225. He hit my car. He been hitting it with four ways and everything. I just need my car. I'm, I'm signed into this car. Who is, it? Who is he That's to? my ex-boyfriend. That's my ex-boyfriend. Were you downtown? Mm -hmm. On Lafayette? I don't know the name. Warren? Is that where it started? Um, no, it started on Spring Street. Look this way for me. Look this way. Yeah, you're on Lafayette. Because your earring's still over there. My earring? Yeah. Immediately when the officer Dang. went to her window, we can see the woman talking very fast. She explains why she's violating some motor vehicle laws is due to her ex-boyfriend hitting her car multiple times, which left the mother's car in a non-ideal state. However, after explaining this to the officer, she makes a questionable decision that escalated this situation. 262 dispatch. Oh, this is coming. Stop! Stop! We're passing Regal. There's a child in the back seat. She's running. She's running. Stand by. Stand. Tempest on, 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 on. decided to drive away from the officer, turning this simple stop into a police chase. But after only moments of driving, she crashed her vehicle with her child in the back. And instead of checking on her kid, she got out of the car and decided to run on foot. Let me see your hands. I have a gun. I'll shoot you. Why? Let me see your hands. Get the f down. Get the f down. Get the f down. I'm in your car. I'm scared. One detained, dispatch. One detained. I'm just scared. We'll send me across of 548 North Clinton Avenue. Stay with the baby. Stay with the baby. Is she under arrest? Yes, yes. All right, we got the baby. Huh, don't let go of the baby. Don't let go of the baby. Huh? Don't let go of the baby. Huh? Of the baby. Just put him in the car. Put him in the car. You're just a part of it. The officers very quickly caught up to her and were able to arrest Tempest. They were also able to get the child out of the car. But this wasn't the end of it, because after pulling the mother in one of the officer's vehicles, she starts explaining to the officer why she ran and left her child in the crashed car. Ma'am, I'm not that type of person. I'm just here. So if you're going to tell me a story, I'm going to tell you the whole thing. All right? And nothing but because this was called in a few times. So if you're going to sit there and lie, okay, so let's try again. And then you could tell me what happened. And if you're not going to be truthful, then you could keep adding charges. All right. So what happened? That's why I said it's no excuse for me running. I understand that's my fault. I'm not going to say blame that on nobody. Earlier today, Santana debate called. Sarik in the Nissan truck. He is my. What do you call it? The primary. I'm the co-signer. We broke up September. I haven't had access to this car, right? Uh-huh. Santander's like, oh well, if you get, you got to get a record from the police station to show that he's not, you know, obligating with the thing. I called the 989 number earlier. Uh-huh. I spoke to a man first. Uh-huh. And then I spoke to a lady. And then a man called me back, but the phone disconnected because it was a Wi-Fi call. And that officer was telling me to follow him to 225. When I called, I was asking for an officer to meet me on Stuyvesant because I was in pursuit of the car. Because I'm never able to find this person to do what I have to do with this loan. You know what I'm saying? So I thought if I could call you, I don't know. I don't know the law. I just know what they told me on the phone. Yeah, so but I you thought, still drove off. I called the police station. You know what I'm saying? You know what you could do? What? Save your story. Tempest Isom was charged with aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, resisting arrest, eluding, endangering the welfare of a child, and several motor vehicle violations. All right, y'all. If y'all like that one, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. That one was crazy. Like, I, like look, y'all, honestly, if y'all not going to take care of y'all kids, please stop having them. Like, stop.
Like it, it's not fair for the child to suffer because you wanted to go do your thing last night. Like that's not that's not fair. But anyways, if y'all like the video, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all go make sure y'all make sure y'all check out Corrupted Minds. I have some great content on there. Shout out to uh Corrupted Minds. But look, on the road to a honey K, man, y'all tap that subscribe button. Love y'all boys and we out. Peace.